Foxtrot call in XA Charlie zero one, Tango Delta two one and Foxtrot one. XA Charlie zero one. Foxtrot one. Tango one. Yeah, thank you, units. Uh, it's going to be an I grade call for you. Porto Drive cross with West Eclipse for the got an active robbery. Robbery in progress, that is. Uh, could I show you towards it? Yeah, head towards. We've got any uh, information on weapons, etc. Yeah, we've got a female caller uh, claiming that somebody's in her house and trying to remove all her property from the um, residence. Uh, it's going to be a IC1 now, I believe, sir. We'll get more description. Yes, all speed control. Can you just repeat it's um, Portola Drive, crossing west to Clips Boulevard? Okay. Um, yes, over. More on the build. It's going to be a big build. Uh, IC1 mail. A small amount of hair over. Receives, confirm it's channel. Yep, it's in channel 1, never. Channel Buddy switched. joined your channel. Buddy joined your channel. Hey, Charlie, do you want to channel? What's up, Bob? Hello. I'm going to destroy the corner for that. I have no idea what I'm doing. Also, it's a bit of a Portola Drive, I don't know what house it is there. Oh, shoot. I'm at the golf club. Yeah. At the it's golf on, club? Am I the only one who's actually next to the house? Which house? I don't know, but I'm 0 0.1 mile away from the location, so... Oh, well, I'm on Portola now, or I'm on Madway and Thunder. I am West Eclipse. I'm on Portola Drive. I'm guessing it's, uh... Oh, it's Michael's house, then. Oh, there is a van there with the doors open in the driveway. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see the, uh... Right, if you go yeah, from I'm the front, the you two, I'll go to the back. Was it an armed robbery with what? I'm going Buddy through the, uh, channel. through the front gate. Fucking Yeah, front gate's oh. open. Right. Front pass. Uh, yeah, there is nope. a van here, guys. Wait, you need to get out of the house. You can't be in here. Get out the house. You're not allowed to be here. I'm not leaving the house. Nope. Do you know what he's armed with? Listen, I've already, no, already called the police, alright? They're coming. Right, where are you? What's the location? There's activity in the, in the back of the house, yes. in the back door. There's, I believe. I'm going to grab the right, I can hear some people shouting. Two, I can see two people open. inside, at least. Two people. I'm back. I'm going to grab my AR. I'm going to do that and chill out. Watch out. Copy that. I'll wait for you. Get out the house. Right. Uh, what else can I catalogue? Right. <clears throat> oh, if he's. What's. <sighs> James, don't just what stand else? there. Get him out of the house. Well, Come what am I supposed to do? It's the armed police, arm police. Right. show yourselves right now, yeah, otherwise we'll have to get the door. Door. last Fridge. chance. Yep, come right. in. Mate, come what are you in. taking oh photos God, off? What, what are you, what are you doing? He's trying, trying to steal the fridge. Can't get that out. I'm not stealing anything, mate. Fuck, no, he's got a gun. Whoa. Hands up, hands up. What do you want? Hands up, hands up. Hands up, hands up. Arm police, hands up right now. Hands up. Fucking hell. Both of you, hands up now. Right now. Whoa. Right. What's this for? Uh, not sure. Have you got? How many Hands have you got? Up. Right, the front door's open. Hands up. We've got right. two. Uh, right. Two males and one female. Right, fill up. I'm approaching for the back door. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick a little closer now. What are you right, doing? I'm talking about right, the police. Why am I in handcuffs? Two sex. We'll see who you all are. Two sex. Right. What else can I see? Right. Where's all three? Nice. Right, how many have we got? Two or three. Suspicion of. Uh, Right, you're, there was you're arresting me now. There was three, because really? I counted three Wait. people inside. Where's the other guy? You, you said you're, you just said you were arresting me. What are you arresting me for? Well, are you There's Jack down here, mate. Mate, you said you're arresting me for burglary. Just Do come downstairs for a minute. Well, well, we're inside this right. woman's house. She's called the police. Well, so yes, yeah, under arrest. Well, you can speak to her and literally, if you figure out who I am before you start arresting people. Just come over this way. Oh, detained, not arrested. 
Well, this, guy just, said, well, this guy just said I'm under you arrest, are? so you want to speak to each other? For suspicion of burglary, yes. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. See? Oh, yeah, that's fine. I'm not being detained. Right, it's it's just the only that could poke it's me. Mate, um... Channel switched. Buddy joined your channel. Who are you, who are you exactly? Me, I am um, a high court enforcement agency. I work for DCBL. Right. I'm here to collect the balance of £25,293.92. Right. Uh, because this woman, unfortunately, has failed to pay the finance on a brand new Mercedes A class that she's just bought. Right. So you've got a warrant for that, yeah? Uh, yeah, I've got a high court writ, actually. Okay. If you'd like to set that out for me. Obviously, the the ladies called us saying there was a robbery in progress. <clears throat> oh, really? Well, unfortunately, I've came originally. I came to just recover the vehicle. Yeah. It was just quickly liaising my colleague. Channel right, switched. Okay. Have you got any idea on you? It's my house. Of course, I have ID somewhere. All right, there's a oh, high, high court enforcement uh, warrant being executed here. Right. Channel switched. There you go, mate. My ID is around me. Nick. I'm from DCBL. So, I'm currently, uh, I'm currently here to uh, enforce the writ. And unfortunately, she's hidden the vehicle. I'm originally here to uh, claim the vehicle back. She's hidden the vehicle. She's failing to pay in full. And basically, this writ states I'm allowed to remove assets to equivalent equivalent of twenty five thousand. Yeah, sorry. Oh, God, I keep remember, keep forgetting this number. Twenty five thousand nine hundred and three and fifty nine pence. That's fine. Buddy, Buddy left. Uh, but but this woman's been unfortunately. I've entered the building peacefully. She's let me in, and then I've presented myself. I've presented my ID. I've given her the paperwork, and she's not taking it too happily. She's just been hurling verbal abuse to me, and I mean it's been pushing me around, trying to get me out. But I've I've done everything legally from my end, so... Yeah. Right, that's fine. Um, Give me a squeaky ears, my colleague. Yeah. yeah. Channel switched. Buddy joined your channel. He's right. barged his way in. Okay, so apparently he didn't even announce his presence. Right, he's got a warrant. He's taking photos. Right, well, yeah. as far as I was aware, two males robbing a house. Two so males I... robbing a house? Who the fuck's told you that? Do I look like I'm robbing this house? Plus, you've had hey, like, you look you quite suspicious James all the clothes you've got on. What? I'm James. sorry, I'm trying to dress warm. I've got a hat on, I've got a scarf you got on, gloves I've got on, some gloves on. Got yes, full it's black because clothing I my on. Hands are... This is not black, right. you need to be dry tested. This is grey. This fridge will be worth about 900. That's fine. My shoes are black, but my trousers right. are well, grey, my <clears> jacket's <throat> grey, my coat's grey, my, jacket, my scarf's grey, my hat's grey. Oh, look, my gloves are grey. We got a report that there was a robbery at this address. Get your hand up my face. Who's actually called the police? That's my question. Me! He has, you. and I was stood next to her. Yes. Why, why have you said he'd been robbed? Yeah, but he's taking it, my stuff for no reason. Right, has he has he told you who he is? No. Well, he's, an high, he's a high court. Listen, mate, you wanted to come downstairs? Come over here a minute. Yeah, sorry, I'm coming. Yeah, uh, well, she was. Me? She, have you, have you she, unfortunately, seen the Unfortunately, mate, she was, she was the one who let me into the property peacefully, and I presented my ID and told her who I was. Yeah. And she's let me in. Right. So she knows exactly who I am, and then I asked for the money, and then she said, No, I can't have the money, unfortunately. Mate, and I've, I, I asked for the vehicle originally, and she failed to produce the vehicle. Right. So I've asked for the money, she's failed to produce the money, I've given her more than ample time. Yeah. And then, unfortunately, I've escalated to removing items from the property yeah, yeah. to obviously count for the money. Obviously. And that's when she's become a bit agitated about it, and she started calling her neighbour over this, that, and the other. Yeah, look, I'm her neighbour. See, I'm not fucking breaking into this house. Yeah, but this so this, this guy over here, <clears throat> thinking, started becoming a bit of an hard man when he said, and this woman here said to her, "Get James, get rid of him." And he started pushing me around and stuff. Right. So I don't know what he what he's here for. The officer, he's, can you remove just, this guy out of my property, please? He's just he's just getting him away. I'm trying to do my job, and obviously this woman's failing to pay for a car finance, unfortunately. Right. Okay. So obviously you're aware of all this. Where's the car? What do you mean where's the car? The car's somewhere out in the streets. Somewhere out in the street. So you don't even know where the car is. You, you, you're you're clearly aware of what's going on here. Okay, so but why, why have you called the police saying you're being robbed? 
with a couple in buying arm, robbed. mate. You're not being he robbed. Is, he is. He is taking my property without my consent. Well, he's got a lawful reason to do so. He's got a warrant, uh, which he's shown you, and he's explained to you what's going on. Why you think all the police no. are being robbed? Because that's quite simply not the case. And frankly, well, you're wasting a lot of police time, endangering your 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 life. And the lives of these two other people, because you say there's a weapon involved. No, 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 that's not how it works. If I feel like I'm being robbed, I'm calling the police because I'm being robbed. Alright, darling? Right. Next thing, right? If I feel I can be... No, 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 okay. no, no, you're listening to me, alright? Okay. I've got handcuffs on, and I have severe wrist problems, alright? I don't appreciate you guys putting handcuffs on me, and they're extremely well, you shouldn't tight call right us like this, No, no, right. no, 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 you don't, you don't, you don't talk to me like that, alright? Well, I thought sure I'd do. Okay, right. so how it's going to work, where's the car? If we can't find the car, then we're going to... Where's, where's your Mercedes aircraft? Mate, it's quite simple and easy. If I, if I can just get the car, drive away in it, that's you're fine. Not, I'll, I'll leave you in peace. Car. You're not driving my car, no. You're not even insured well, to drive my car. You... Well, if, if you just tell me where it is, I'll call a recovery company to take it back, and it's then I won't be bothering you. It's at my aunt's. Right. It's at your aunt's. I my property back where it was, all right? Where's your aunt? I'm extremely agitated. Well, until up. I get the vehicle, love, all the, all your property is staying in the back of me van. Well, she lives in North Kent, so you best hurry up, because I don't have all day, you know? Well, I'm only I'm only contracted to work as long as I work. I'm not I'm not going to drive over there at 90 miles an hour to pick up the car. What's the, ad oh, what's, what's right. the address of where the car is? Right. It's um up in North Kent. Let me just remember the address. It's um. Remember the address? Wait, well, you wait, were the one that did that, love. It's That's right, Marina right Drive, number nine, Marina Drive. My aunt lives there. Best not number be called Marina hassle. Drive. Yeah. Well, that's definitely where the car is. Where's the key for it? It's, it's my aunt. It's at it's your aunt's. aunt's. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you take your handcuffs off me, please? My wrists are hurting, officer. You calm yourself oh, down. Can... Calm down. Yeah, I will. Honestly, the okay. the painting. Calm me. down. Marina Drive, <laughs> right? Oh, unloosen them for me, please. Just a bit. Right. Can someone take the handcuffs off? Are you able to get one of your colleagues there to check the cars there? Uh, yeah, if you just give me a minute, mate. I've got a few colleagues in North Kent. I'll just get one of them to nip around and see if it's there. Right. So All obviously right. this is more of a civil matter now. Uh, yeah. The fact remains, well, wasting police time and making yeah, a false report. escalated it. Someone right. escalated when there was no need. I'll but I mean, admit that call I don't, now, don't appreciate you guys, like... Listen, don't walk around. Go and stand over there. Don't stand where you're telling me to go stand where Listen, I want to go. Listen, stand, go, go and stand right, over there. This is my property. Right, if you start kicking off with me, the handcuffs go back, right back off. on. I'm go and you fat. Listen, this I'm telling you, go and stand over there. Oh calm right. yourself down. Stop moving James, about. James, Just stand over here and calm yourself down, alright? Well, I've been arrested because they think I'm robbing your Why house. Why are you arresting him? Because they think I'm robbing your house. Officer, can you handcuff well, this guy, please? Bailiff said that the gentleman has assaulted him, so I'm not finished with him at the moment. Mate, are you deaf? He, he, what are you he on about? He didn't touch him. He said right. you were pushing him around. That's not assaulting. Uh, Listen, assaulting mate, is there's been an allegation, okay? So, just calm yourself down a minute. Well, uh, Mr. Going to to him. Mr. Officer with the white hat. Uh, yeah, I do, I do wear a body cam, mate. If you'd ah, that's fine, that's fine. So, uh, you, you're he, alleging an assault, yeah? Well, I'm not sure what he's crashed at and classed as, but he was pushing yeah, me about yeah. and stuff, okay, trying yeah. to get me to exit the building, so... Yeah. Have you managed to find your colleague? Um, yeah, he's he's going to pop round to the address. He'll be about five minutes, and he's going to... Unfortunately, this writ only entitles us to enter this property, so yeah, unfortunately, if the ant doesn't cooperate, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare to get this vehicle back. Obviously, obviously, if you can get the vehicle, then that can be sorted, and then we can all leave. Yeah. If you can't get the vehicle, then obviously you have to continue well, with Well, basically, if it's, as you said, if it's just parked on the road, we can just hook it up and we can take it. Yeah. But uh, if we can't, basically, if we can't recover the keys, we'll take it anyway, because the vehicle's better than nothing, unfortunately, yeah. at the end of the day. In terms of this and, assault uh, you're alleging, it's some technical details of you. What exactly happened uh, with the mail? Miss Glover. You just... Miss? Yep. Get, uh, Excuse get me, that love. Can no, I, I want to ask you a question. No, no, I'm speaking to this officer. I'm speaking to this officer, love. Speaking to this officer, love. I'm not speaking to you, alright? Officer, can I go to my room? Listen, for the moment, you're going to stay over there until we finish dealing with you, okay? So stop moving about. 
Oh, excuse me. Right. Yep, so we'll get that sorted. My name's... Uh... Sorry, two seconds. I'll produce my ID to you and then you can just copy it all down. Probably easier. Yeah, it's more about the statement, really. As to what actually what exactly happened. And then once you get that statement, by that time you should have had your curly pot round. <laughs> yeah, right, there's, there's my ID. Right. Yep. Basically what happened is, I came into the building, I pronounced myself. So I gave the uh, details to the woman about and uh, what I was there for. Originally asked for the vehicle, she refused to give me the location of the vehicle. Uh, then I asked for the payment in full or in monthly installments, which she was refusing to do flat out. I gave her multiple attempts and gave her as much attempts as I could, as much leeway as I could, unfortunately. And then basically what happened was, uh, and then I moved to removing assets and this is when uh, she picked up the phone and started calling people. Then, uh, I'm not sure what his name is, James, I think it, yeah, James. He came across and he just started to, uh, started acting like he was in charge of the situation and asking me to leave originally, being quite polite about the situation. Then it started getting a bit out of hand because obviously I was taking photos and noting down things and taking note of how much roughly I think everything was worth yeah. in terms of everything. And he's just come at me and said, why are you taking photos of this? And then when I started removing the property, that's when it started getting a bit bad. Yeah, he started pushing me around and saying, "Why are you removing the property and things?" Okay. Which will show on the body cam. So, so when you say um, push around, what exactly do you mean? Basically, basically, I um, I'll show you if you just walk through here. Basically, above the fireplace there, there was a there was a large flat screen TV. Yeah. And I've taken it down, and I've started moving it myself, and basically I've had to put it down, and uh, because he started pushing me. Unfortunately, like, it wasn't damaged or anything. It's in the back of the van now. Yeah. And what he, he just started pushing me around while I was trying to remove items. So, basically, I think what he was trying to do is trying to sabotage the items so they're not worth as much as they were worth. Yeah. At the end of the day. Just so I don't get... So, just so I make my job harder. So, the most valuable items that I was trying to remove, he's trying to, obviously, break the items so they're not worth as much. Yeah. Right. And that's about it, really. So, it, wasn't, it wasn't anything major. I'm still in one piece. Yeah, so he's just basically give you a little push on the shoulder, basically, but he's obstructing you from doing your job, really. And that's, the... Yeah, that's all he's been doing. He's just been basically been trying to stop me removing items from the house and yeah. taking them into the back of the van. If you get your uh, body cam rendered, I'm going to... Are we going to take him away yep. for oh. uh, obstructing uh, you as an enforcement officer? Right, two, two seconds, mate. I've got a phone call. No worries. Just let us know. Right, from what I've been able to gather, uh, Jam over there is shown on body cam to be obstructing, willfully obstructing enforcement officer from the High Court, which is an offence. Uh, obviously, also assault to be alleged. We're trying to investigate, but we're going to have to come into custody, obviously, to prevent a further breach of the peace and also to um, obviously inve effectively investigate the offence. Uh, as for the lady, I'm just going to wait until he. Managed to get a phone call back from his uh, colleague. And then we can obviously um, tell them what's going on. Alright? Bye, Lord. Okay. Yep. Mm, yep, yep. Alright. Well, that's all fine. Cheers. Cheers. Right. Right, basically, what, what's happened is the arm, it's, par it's currently parked on the arm's driveway. Yep. And uh, currently, she's got gates on the driveway and she's refusing to let the vehicle go. Right. And obviously we can't enter a property without a writ that we've got for this property, so it doesn't carry across. So we'll have to go back to the courts and try and get a writ for that vehicle now. Yeah. But and we have, at the moment, clamped the vehicle, though. We can't do that. Okay. Under, because the vehicle is the main point of the writ. We just can't remove it off her property as it stands. Yeah. Let me go and have a quick chat with the lady so we can see if we can uh, get her to call the yard. Cheers, mate. Right, the car is on the driveway of your aunt. Told you. Yeah. However, your aunt's not gonna let, gonna open the gate, so they can take the car away, which is obviously a problem for you because that means they're gonna start removing all the property from your house. Why does she have to be so difficult? So, do you want to give her a call? Just ask her to. Oh uh, right, her. just one minute. Where's that guy? The guy's over in the hallway. The guy? You expect to right. the guy, yeah. The, so basically, the gate has this little pin. All right. Yeah. It has a numpad. Password is six zero. Yeah, it doesn't work like that because because it's on your aunt's property. They need her permission. 
I'm, t- I'm, no, I'm telling away. you how to open the gate. Yeah, I know, but we can't. Well, they, they won't be oh. able to open the gate because it's not their property. So they need your aunt I, to give them permission give to do you, it. So if you call I'll your aunt, try to convince. You, you can't give them permission to your property. So you call your aunt, convince oh. her to give them permission because obviously it's your car. So I don't see why she wouldn't. If you tell her to, and then it should be fine, and then they can they can leave, and we can deal with it that way. The alternative is. If that doesn't happen, obviously property is going to start getting removed from your house, and then oh, you, no. you two might might end up getting arrested for obstruction. Well, me. Well, yeah, because you've made Why? this false allegation of robbery. No, because I thought it was a robbery. Okay, well that's fine. So if we deal with it this way, we can we can forget about that. Um, otherwise, we'll have to go down a different route, right? All right, I need to go find my aunt's number somewhere upstairs. Where's your phone? Down, down upstairs as well. So. Okay, where's your phone? Because I will get it for you. It's in my bedroom. Right, I'll get it. Or in the bathroom. All right. And there should be like a big piece of paper with lots of numbers on it. Yeah. Oi! Sad prick you are. Excuse me, love. You heard me. Honestly, is why do you have to be such? No, you, is why there any need? Such a horrible... No, yeah, there is. Is there why any need? To be such a horrible... Well, if you pitch your bills, love, I won't be here. I'm trying my best, all right. Oi. Don't oi me. No, no, no. I, I don't, will oi, because the next one you say and then second will be on the floor. And you're in handcuffs, alright? You right? put me on the floor, there's going to be issues, alright? Calm, calm yourself down, mate. Like, just, we're, we're, yeah, we're dealing with this in a normal way, so don't so yeah. get aggressive towards him. Go back to the middle I, of the I, don't, I, I don't know why you're being so aggressive. The police are here to prevent this and you're just causing all these issues. I'm not. You're here making me very uncomfortable. Sorry about Ooh. that, officer. That's fine. Here's the phone and the numbers. All right, perfect. If he's all right. about that kill, It'd be great. And while you do that, I'm just going to quickly tell him that what's happening. I was going to get her to call her aunt, and then hopefully she'll uh, obviously let them on the property. And then you can remove the car. Yeah, that's really me. I'll call my uh, uh, mate over there, one of the other agent, and uh, hopefully she'll cooperate and we'll get the vehicle and then I can put the TV back in here and she can have what she wants. Sweet. Hello, baby cakes. Yeah, it's sweet cheeks. Yeah, are there people outside, darling? Yeah, they're here for my car because there's some sort of money issue going. Yeah. No, if you want to let them in, just let them take the car, right? No, oh, let me ask you actually. What's that? Sorry. How, how much is the debt? Love, you, you yeah, love. I know you only recently got the car, and this car's this car's quite. Just this tell me. This car's really expensive, love. I know. Just tell me how much we need to pay. Right, the what writ in full. Like you got this car in finance, love. It's a lot of money. Um, right. The current the current amount you've paid off about four and a half grand so far for this car. It was thirty grand in total according to the writ. You currently owe twenty five thousand nine hundred and three pounds and fifty nine pence to Mercedes Benz PLC. Uh, right. <clears throat> Baby cakes. Do you have Do you have a spare twenty six thousand pounds that I can use? Ah, no, don't think so. Yeah, just let them take the car. Please, yeah. All right, love you lots. Bye. Is she? Uh, yeah, is she? I'm right with her now. Yeah. Yeah, she said, uh, yeah, "You gotta do what you gotta do." So. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, just go somewhere over there. I'll just uh, see if that's all fine, and then uh, we should be right. Can I get my TV back, please? Once, once the car's in their property, then you can. Yeah. If you just try again. Right. Yeah. I'll just uh, ring them and make sure that's, that's happening. Yeah, that's brilliant. Is James all right? Right, um, Mr. Mister Officer, hello. Oh, hello. Are you there? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, okay, they've, um, you know, the aunt's let the recovery truck in and they're just going to lift it now. And uh, she's also handed over the keys so we don't have to forcefully lift it. It's just going to be rolled onto the truck and they'll be gone within 10 minutes. So I'll bring this TV back in, all right? Ready? Give your hands. Yep, come on. It's quite big, it's what, 45 inch. Killed. That is big, yeah. Nearly broke. Yeah, nearly brought me back, carrying it out. Right, two seconds. If you, if I slide it out, can you get the other end? Yeah. 
Right, uh, I'll slide it out nice and carefully. Right, okay, you got it? Yep. Right, towards the door then, swing it around. Go. We'll just put we'll just put it back down in porch for the time being because I'm not I'm not like legally entitled to put it back up because if anything happens once it's out of my care. It's fine, yeah. Right, I'll just put Better it here. back down there. Yeah. yeah, cheers. Right. I'll just once the cars on the recovery truck, I'll be out of here. Uh, once it's back in our hands. It's brilliant. And um yeah, that's uh Where that's is all it? Oh. So it's over here in the hallway. Do you want to put it back on? Yeah. I'll give you a hand if you want to. Let me check it first, because I know you guys don't, really, you know, deal with our property very nicely. All right, looks all right. Yeah, you want me to help you put it back on? Just click yeah, on something. Yeah, um, yeah, it's like a little melt on the Brilliant. wall. Right. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Go. Ah. Right. Right. This is going to be a pain. Ready? Yep. All the way up. Ah. And clip it on. Brilliant. There we go. Lovely. Right, that's your property sorted. Right, now can everyone just leave my house now? Yeah, we can. Have, has someone right, taken any right, details? Uh, no, not yet. Oh. I'm just going to take you, quickly take you some of your details. Have you got any ID in the house? Oh. Dry license. Do I, do, I, do I have to give my details, officer? Yeah. Uh, I don't like the government, you see. You what? Don't like the government having my details. Well, wow. have you got a dry license? I presume you have, because you've been driving no. the car. Have you, not, have you not got a dry license, you've been driving the car around. Not on me. Oh. It's somewhere upstairs. Okay. Do you want to go and get that? Right, officer. Right. Yeah. Move out my way. Yep. Oh, whoa. Okay. Oh, yep. oh, I'm not getting involved. Right, officer. I've uh, received confirmation the car's on the recovery truck with uh, two sets that's of keys, and yeah. that's that's all we need. Brilliant. And a uh, bit the TV's back in, and uh, I just need her to sign this paperwork to say she's uh, received her property back from myself after it's been seized. Uh, the only th the only thing from now is that I just uh, I will uh, basically just get you a uh, clip of the body cam. But um, because he's been cooperative since you've arrived, I'm not too bothered about pressing charges. It wasn't anything major. No, that's fine. Okay, let's so wait for her just, to come down. As... Let's take all the yeah, details down, as... and then um, mm. that'll be fine. Yeah, just as long as he's not a nuisance while I just finish off with you, I'm not bothered in the slightest. That's good. If you can take her details, please. Um... Now, have you, did we get his details? Love, can you well, sign on the dotted line for me, please? I've been arrested for burglary, so... Uh... Right, if we want to de-arrest him, then... Well, that can be discarded. Yeah, if well, we want to de-arrest him, then just get, let's get his details, please, yeah. James. Well, you're going to de-arrest me first, and then I'll give you my name. Buddy left your channel. Did my... Did you arrest Buddy George your channel? Channel. Burglary. Right, okay. What's my name? My name's James. Last man, please. Bathers. There you go, love. Right, enjoy the rest of your day, love. I'll me, go right, long way around, so that you wait. M A T H E R S. Right, um, Mr. Officer in the Ivies, thanks for all the help, and sorry, no, sorry about the bit of a nuisance, and yeah, but I'll uh, no be out of your air now. No worries, that's fine. Don't come to my phone. All right, see you in a bit, sir. Have a good day. And you live next door, is that to our right or to our yeah, left? Yeah, I'll probably do something. I live, I live down the road. Buddy left your channel. Oh, down the road. So what's yeah. address them? We just get checked on both, and uh, yeah, that all checks well, out. What's my we'll address? I don't have to give you my address, mate. It's down the road. I could take you to my house if you really want. Can I get my license? It'll be easy just for you to give me your uh, postcode. Yeah, I'm just gonna do some checks. Give you my postcode. Uh, well, I live in Porto. Postcode and address. And um, my house is on Spanish Avenue. It's on the corner of Portola and Spanish. It's up to you to figure out which one it is. No, it's not me. It's up to you oh. to give me your address. Oh, you don't need my address. You can do a PNC search on me. I'd like your address, please. Listen, mate, because you've been suspected of an offence, give, well, give your address. Well, I've been suspected of... What is the offence I've been suspected You're of? You're currently being suspected of assault of... and obstructing an enforcement assault. officer. Assault. Well, he never made it clear to me that he was an enforcement officer. Well, it kind of says it, it around his neck, doesn't it? He pushed him. Well, we didn't have any ID visible when I came in. Right. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Listen, it doesn't matter, does it? 
Apparently, you're not being arrested. You're not being... We can deal with this normally, and we'll take no further action, but you need to give us your details. Because otherwise... I've given him right, what's your address? What's my address? Yeah. I'm 14 Portola Drive. There we go. Have we got PNC checks on them both, please? Yeah, clear for below. Brilliant. Do you get a PNC check on this one, um, Nemeth? <laughs> Yep. If that all checks out, then um, we'll leave them be with strong words of advice. Buddy joined your channel. Perfect. Yeah, I've got another back, mate. Lovely. If we just want to obviously uh, advise them of West Police time, etc., and then um, everything should be sorted, I think. All right. That's fine, uh, ma'am. I think everything's sorted out. Thank you very out. much. Okay, I I'll... do apologise for the misunderstanding, officer. Well, no, that's good. Obviously, uh, no, obviously it will, there will be a note on our system that obviously this has happened, but if you don't do it again, then that'll no, nothing will come of that. Okay, right, so obviously your uh, car, you have to get back. Oh, yeah. Whoever you have a civil dispute with, that's not something we're going to get involved in, all right? All right, no worries, officer. Lovely. Have a safe night, okay? Lovely, all right, have a good night. You are pretty fit, not going to lie. Thanks. <laughs> the gentleman leave. Don't, don't blush. The gentleman left, Thanks. yeah? <laughs> Officer. Yeah. I'm sure I saw you in the gym. Oh, you might have. Do you go to the gyms? Yeah, I do. Which, which one do you go to, Officer? <laughs> it's classified oh. information. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> Don't you worry. Alright, have a good night. Bye-bye.